Keep that pace right there, Laura. Laura right now is doing a VO2 test that measures the heart's ability to pump the blood and the muscle's ability to extract the oxygen. The higher the VO2 scores, meaning the more mechanical work at the highest VO2, these people have more stamina. These people burn more fat. These people have less chronic disease. And what it's related to is the development of the muscle's mitochondria. So all strength training aerobically should be geared towards improving this because improving VO2 capacity causes mitochondria function to go up. Laura, you're at 14.6, 15.0. You're steadily going up. I've got a heart rate now of 134. So heart rate's going up. Now, Laura, start climbing 50 to 60. Now, we've got a heart rate of 140. So heart rate's going up like we expect to more mechanical work. You can see Laura right now is at 18.1 VO2. She's above the 1.0. What's important about being above 1.0 RQ is that's where the rate of fat being used for energy stops for each individual when you're above that 1.0. So she's burning more calories, but they're glucose calories. Now what we want to do is change that. Looking good, Laura. You're at 17.9. You're at 18. Now I'm going to give you a little more work because you're starting to plateau. Let's go 60 to 70. Every time you plateau on me, I give you a little more demand. And we look to see if that demand drives up VO2. Way to push yourself, Laura. <clears throat> Twenty-two, two, steadily going up. Twenty-three, twenty-three, one, steadily going up, Laura. Twenty-three, seven, twenty-four, two, steadily going up, Laura. I've got a heart rate one sixty-four. Let's see, 80 to 90, Laura. Hang in there. I know it's working. You're doing good. Hang You're almost there, done. Almost done. All right, bingo. We're there. Excellent. Now come down. Excellent. Step down. I want you to. I'm gonna take that mask off where you can feel like you can uh, breathe. Excellent. All right. Now, Laura, just for, for my sake, yeah, get take your time, get some water. If I had asked level of exertion in your mind, perceived exertion, is that a state of exercise that could have been maintained for any steady rate of time? So you work to what we call peak, and if we try to push people beyond that, you have such a fatigue buildup from lactic acid accumulation that the oxygen cost for less muscle being active because of the fatigue goes down rather than going up. So sometimes we have a mistake that intensity is a feeling when it's basically something we can measure exact to each person. Now what I want to do is set up an exercise program that periodically, twice a week, challenges you to that peak. Not above it, but at it. And then I'm going to give you low and moderate days where we can build up more minutes. And this prescription of challenge with medium and low is how people learn to adapt. And the way they learn to adapt is by improving mitochondria function. So it's nothing more than taking your current level of fitness and not working too far under it and not working above it. And if we can measure something exact like a blood pressure test, we shouldn't be doing formulas 220 minus your age to figure target heart rate. We should be measuring exactly where the person needs for the most physiological change that's unique to them. And you peaked at 25. All right. Now with that, we've got the heart rates that we're not going to train above because training above it's not going to allow the exercise to be managed. 
So it's like this. If you're going to do, well, a lot of people today will hear the term high intensity interval training. And the first thing that they perceive when they hear interval is all out or max effort. All right, well, the, the truth of it is, if you train all out in any mannerism that causes that lactic acid to accumulate, then the work interval, the work rate you're working at, doesn't get better. It gets progressively worse the more intervals you do. Well, if your goal is to build aerobic strength, you don't want that. You want the work intervals to be able to improve over time. So what we have to do is be patient and train the aerobic system as a strength, not the lactic system.